welcome to CJT Reviews Gameplay of Battlefield 1943 I'm Chris, uh, Tez isn't with me today uh, He wouldn't be a part of, well he is part of uh, CJT Reviews But I meant as in, he's not going to do commentary with me on gameplays like this and many, probably many more to come. Um, if you haven't got uh, Battlefield 1943, I would recommend you to purchase this online. You could purchase this, uh, purchase it on uh, PlayStation stores or Xbox 360. I, I don't know if you have a, a online store. Uh, think you do. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't know. I haven't got a uh, Xbox 360. I've only got a PS3. I um, haven't really got much to say about the uh, gameplay or, or in this gameplay. All I could tell you is that uh, I, I really like, I, I love playing this game. I uh, hardly pl played it lately. Um, Yes, and you could tell that I always play on Air Supreme all the time now. Um, it's only because, uh, well, it, it's very challenging. I do admit that, like any other online gameplay uh, games, are really challenging because um, you're not against a computer and you're against other people uh, around the world. Um, but it's a bit challenging. I hardly fly on uh, Air Supreme. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I'm pretty crap at it. But you know, it's just a, it's just a game. Some people do take things very personally on this game, or many other games, to be honest, like Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, and many other online games they do take it very personally if you kill them especially on this game it's like if you kill them they just go straight for you hate that I really do it's only a game um, uh, for maximum online players is 32 around about 32 the only ones what I've seen in a room is Roughly up to 13 people in, I think. Maybe 16, I'm not 100% sure, but that's roughly the number thing. As, as, you, ta as you can tell, I'm always on for anti air gun turrets most of the time. And yes, you could you could tell that most people just shoot randomly in the air or destroy their own airplanes. Uh, and yes, that's me just checking for the uh, scoreboard there. Um, it, I I don't like the range on the anti-air gun turrets because it. You, you know, when, when you do fire them, they don't go as far as you think they would go. Usually you have to get an airplane a little bit closer to fire at them. Um, oh, sorry, I think I just hit my mic. Um, usually people just shoot each other in this game. Your own teammates and stuff. It is pretty funny when people do that. In certain cases, that happens on these uh, what when I'm recording. So, um, in Air Supreme, it's where you have to destroy as many aircraft as possible round about a, a certain area. You know, in for far distance where I was pointing just earlier, around there is like. Like the middle part, uh, uh, if you, there's like a not a flag, but you have to cap, you have to have as many 
aircraft in that circle and then you would have Air Supreme I think that's a roller, I'm not really 100% how it works but that's just a guess and I'll probably write about that, I'm not certain um, as you can tell you have to be really patient when you're on the anti-air gun turrets they're easy to control, they're very simple uh, all the whole gameplay is very simple um, nothing's hard and I'm sorry about this uh, going on one of my messages uh, but I didn't have enough time to write a message on this so yeah I thought so I'll probably do it later um, it's only because uh, Nicky uh, as you may know um, him from a uh, highly annoyed reviewer um, uh, he wanted me to play on uh, Killzone 2, which I have recorded a bit of it, but that that wouldn't be anything to do with CJ2 reviews. That would be some cows uh, separate. Um, but there are many other gameplays which I'm gonna do in the future, which is like uh, Batman Arkham Asylum. I was thinking about doing that, probably for challenge modes. I'm not sure about that. Um, I was thinking of doing a walkthrough for it, but I've seen quite a lot of uh, walkthroughs on Batman Arkham Asylum, but it, you know, it's like you could take your time doing it, or you could get on with the story, or you could solve the riddles, or get the trophies, etc., etc. But I would take my time, but that's just me. I probably like uh, once I've finished it, I'll probably go over it again and probably record it like that way. Um, oh. Sorry, I keep hitting my mic. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I really enjoy playing this game. Uh, Battlefield 1943. Um, I, I did like um, Battlefield 1942, I think it was. That was pretty good because uh, I'm a, a fan of uh, Prince of Macedon uh, and, and many more like urban rubble and and style and you know, I'm like a big fan of theirs so I always watch their videos <laughs> and, and next gen walkthroughs I always watch theirs every time I always watch theirs um, not a lot uh, I, I do like their uh, gameplays and everything put some very interesting for Total War franchise, so I always loved for Total War games uh, like Rome Total War, uh, my favourite, and Empire Total War is pretty good. I like Empire Total War, it's pretty good. Um, but I prefer Rome Total War because, you know, it's like. Um, you know, for Romans and ancient times really, ancient warfare, ancient Greeks and stuff like that. So, I don't know what to say, um, it's pretty boring but you expect from a gameplay. Um, well, I'll catch you um, on part two. Uh, and yes, I'm shooting a, a guy who came on our uh, um, carrier. And I hate when the enemy does that, so I'll see you in part two.